Hey, it's Brian Wright, and this is the Daily B. 140 something, it could be 150, I don't even know. Hey, Brian from BrianWright732.com, fitin.com, ptbme.com, so many.com, so many different things. So, what's the greatest challenge I'm dealing with right now? So, as the president of PTBME Inc., I am running into a challenge that a lot of businesses have, and that is looking backwards instead of forward. We're acting as if we're looking forwards, but we're really depending upon things that just don't exist anymore. So my greatest challenge is dealing with a CEO that's looking backwards every day, acting as if we still have the same customer base, that we have the same diversified brands, that we still have the same marketplace that existed when the company was in its heyday back in 2006, 7, 8, and 9. You know, you got to remember in 2006, Facebook was like two years old. It's 2017, it's a completely different world. The market's really shifted. So the great challenge that I'm facing right now is that moves are being made as if the audience exists, but over the last 10 years, the audience has gone away. The audience has aged out. This is a children's clothing company. So the kids have grown up, the parents have moved on. If they haven't become grandparents and are buying for their grandkids, they're not here anymore. And there was not a big program in place for marketing, customer outreach, developing a customer base, consistently so that the business can maintain its market share. So now we're sitting here in 2017 with the idea that the company could be something is the reality. But what's being acted upon as if the company is there. So we're, we're, we're struggling because the CEO is saying we're where we need to be, but she's not really focusing on the future, she's looking at the past and saying, we just have to energize the base again. But the problem is, again, the base is 10 years old and the base doesn't exist anymore. The company doesn't exist anymore that existed 10 years ago. Everything's different. So the problem that I'm running into and the problem that a lot of people run into is that when you've had success in the past, you've got to realize that that does not mean you're going to be successful today. If you don't maintain the results of yesterday, every day, you're not going to have success in the current market the way you did before. You can't live off the past. It just doesn't work. You can use the past as information to you know, inform today, as a foundation to build your future upon, all that kind of stuff, but you can't live off of it. You can't you know, take for granted where you've been. You've got to make moves. So for us, a challenge that we run into is because we were once a robust, busy business, and now I say, okay, we need to expand into a certain area. No strategy session, no nothing. The CEO goes out, just buys product, pushes in that direction. Okay, great. But we didn't build an audience, so now we don't have a customer. And now a business that, you know, we're not really making what we need to make is now making even less because we have product that we can't move because we're acting as if the customer exists even though we didn't take the steps necessary to maintain the customer over the years and we haven't had enough time to outreach to the customer today. So now we're stuck with goods and no customers. And so now the debt gets deeper. So you have to build a customer base before you go and purchase product and start building a business. If you don't have attention, if you don't have people coming through your door. If you don't have a customer, you don't have a business to grow. So the number one thing you need to focus on when your business is lacking is taking all that past history that you're acting upon and process and buying, cut that off, go back and look at that history and start telling the story about that history and start building a new customer based on all the positive relations you've had in the past so that you can create a customer for the future, which once you have that attention, once you have that respect because of the credibility you created in the past, now you can go buy the product. So again, I say this over and over and over again. Do not go and try to build a business without building a following first. Build a base of interest that you can convert into customers quickly so that you don't get stuck you know, wondering why it worked yesterday but it's not working today. Get stuck being in debt because you went and bought product that you don't have a customer for and now you're sitting on it. You've got to build interest, you've got to build that base, then you can go and you can buy into it and you can build your future. So stop looking back, 
You can be nostalgic in your message, but you can't be nostalgic in your process. Because you were good yesterday doesn't mean you're good today. You have to, you know, up that game day after day, month after month, year after year. It's the only way to maintain. So that's the message, guys. Do not act like the past exists today. Understand your past. Use it to inform today. Build a customer base so that you can take your future actions. No customers, no sales, folks. Simple. All right, let me get back to work. <laughs>